Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you and explain how I created the NPC war video where the rebels ambushed the combine. But before we begin, it is important to know that the second half of the video assumes that you understand programming. So let's first begin with some of the stuff that didn't require programming. So first of all, you need a object that um, serves as like the marching point for the combine or whatever you want to use. So let's say I'm going to be using a uh, regular barrel. So this can actually be used as as like a marching point where the NPCs are supposed to follow. So let's say we have this. I'm going to put it right here. And then you also need something to move that marching point because, for example, let me just spawn this cone. Let's say the combine army is right here, right? Let's say this is the combine army. You need them to, you know, slowly move and follow it. But you also do not want, like, you don't want the point to go from here to like here because then what would end up happening is that um, the NPCs would start using the surrounding nodes. And if I actually turn that on to show you real quick. So as you can see, we don't have a middle connection over here. Rather, we have two over here. So if you go really far out, the NPCs will start using those more distant um, connections. All right. So to show you uh, better of what I mean by this, I'm going to be getting the uh, number of this entity, which is 8. And I'm going to quickly edit the code that I have. So the code has been edited, and this is now serving as the uh, marching point. Let's spawn a couple of combine. Let's say regular soldiers. And also, before I continue in this, um, if you're creating a video like this, I highly recommend that you, of course, set a god mode, as you can see I did over here, at the bottom of, uh, of the HUD. Um, and you probably want to set ignore players, unless you're planning to take part, let's say, in the ambush, or even be part of the march, if you really wanted to. So, okay, let me show you guys what happens. So I have this command called claim army and now this little cone actually has claimed the army and as you can see the combine are you know they they are set to follow it basically so let's say it moves a little bit as you can see they're pretty in sync and everything and let's say I flip it I didn't put it in my web. There we go. Yeah, actually, one thing to help with props like this, which I recommend not to use props like this, because there's not a proper forward indication. You can use the um, entity inspector, easy entity inspector tool, and select the direction. And as you can see, the forward is what you want, because that's what the... NPCs are basing it off of. As you can see, they're exactly on the forward. Alright, now to show you what happens if you move this object really high up. I mean, not, not high up, but like really far away. As you can see, it can really get messed up. Especially if the nodes in the map are not designed for something like this. That's why what you want to do is move the point of the marching, basically, very slowly. And here's where the other thing comes in. So, if I just delete those NPCs real quick. And I will delete this prop as well. So this is number 6, and I believe if I respawn another prop, yeah, I'll get 8. Okay, perfect. So we can just get rid of this. That way I won't have to edit the code again. 
All right, so we want the uh, NPCs to follow this object. Um, and we want to make sure they stay behind, you know, the forward position. So actually, let me just flip it this way. Okay. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And I'm going to be using um, this door prop from HL2 as well. Again, you can use any props that you'd like. It doesn't really matter because um, after you're probably going to have to make them invisible using the color tool. So what I used in that video was hydraulic. And I clicked here and onto the other prop. Now, there is a rope here, but I have the width set to zero, so of course when I'm recording it won't be visible, because that would kind of ruin the scene in my opinion. So now, as you can see, it's following it, and I have it set to numpad zero, so if I press it, look at that, it perfectly moves slowly, um, basically in one direction. And then I have it set to 1000. Of course, you can change this. Let's say you want them to march from here all the way over here, let's say. Then, yeah, you probably want to make this a much larger number. Let's say you have much faster NPCs uh, than Combine. You could speed it up or maybe slower. You could slow it down. You, you can play around with this. There's a lot of options here. There's also a toggle option which I highly recommend uh, when recording a video because if you don't have this enabled if you let the key go this will go back there which is not what you want so let's say we have set this as you can see I didn't do it perfectly in line which is fine but in a actual video you want to make sure that um, the center of this prop is lined with this just to make it a little easier for you because right now as you can see this is a little bit to the side so all right let's uh let's spawn a couple of combine and let me show you guys how this looks exactly okay i think that should be good and let's type in flame army Okay, so let's see what happens if we press zero to make it go back to the uh, original position of the hydraulic. As you can see, this creates a perfect point for the NPCs to follow, basically. Although I feel like the combine might actually need to sped up a little bit, maybe 70 I want to say. But yeah, I'm still, you know, this was uh, the first time I did this in the uh, in the ambush video, so I hadn't per I haven't like perfected it yet. But as you can see, it probably needed to be a little bit faster than that. Also, you. Probably want to turn off collisions for these two. If we move this back, the combine will move with it. Again, I think it needs to be a little bit faster. Alright. So, one last thing actually you want to do to this is set the um, color. This bar all the way to the bottom. And these, and these up, and there you go, no shadows, nothing. So, if, you know, let's say you are recording, nobody's going to be able to see that you have such thing over there. And the NPCs will not really be bothered by it, because it's, you know, collisions are off, it's invisible, so it usually wouldn't mess with the AI if it's there. So, there you go, that's the setup of the point that the NPCs follow. Now you might be wondering how come the uh, rebels for example or even the combine themselves did not notice each other. I mean AI was enabled you know and I'll show you right now for example. See they're not 
They're not fighting each other. So this is where the programming part comes in. Well, at least this is the first part of it. Uh, what you want to do is enable a variable, which when I edit this video, I will put it at the top for you to um, view. And if you know programming, of course, um, you would know how to do that. Basically get all the NPCs and uh, set that variable that I will have at the, uh, at the top of this video right now. And then what you want to do is run a command like this. So if I just clear this and let me just go back a little bit. There you go, this command right here. I will also have this in the description to make it easier. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm setting a timer for two seconds and in two seconds it will get all the entities and set disable find enemy to false. And the way I did this for the video is I waited for the combine to I believe I was recording, yeah, right here. The combine to get around here. I open the console. I hit enter. And then I went back, which I edited that part out of the video. As you can see, they now fight each other. After about two seconds. Alright, so that's how um, you can make them not target each other. As for the marching code itself, this is a uh, very complicated thing to make. If you are really, you know, good with coding, um, you might be able to make uh, at least some type of system like that by yourself. Um, basically, to sum up what the code does, the marching code, um, when you do... Here, let me just spawn a couple more combine again. So we have all of these. When I type in claim army, this is running a uh, command, a console command basically. And it gets all the NPCs in the map, so I make sure there's no other NPCs except the ones that I want marching. And I run a bit of a complicated algorithm to figure out their positions for each NPC for them to line up um, and I also have different column sizes that they can do of course if you are making such thing let's say purely to make a video or something you really don't need to go this complicated um, but yeah so I have that and then Whenever their point of object moves, I uh, basically change their position a little bit. So that way, um, they stay basically in their lane, if that makes sense. Um, like, for example, this one won't try to come here, and this one won't try to come here. So I don't do a complete recalculation. Instead, it just basically adds onto the previous positions. All right, so yeah, that's that's basically it on the programming side. And I also have a couple of things. For example, if an enemy is detected, they will break the marching code. And actually when, after an enemy is, uh, is not detected, they will go back to marching. So actually, let me just show this real quick. I'll quickly spawn a zombie. And I believe this one has find enemy disabled. So... There you go. See, they went back to marching after they killed a zombie. Which is uh, pretty good. And you can see it in the video too. Near the end, uh, when there was only two soldiers left. And I believe two or three rebels left around here. Um, they... They lost uh, contact with each other. So the two combine soldiers over here, they regrouped at the marching point. And they actually saw the rebels over here again. And then, yeah. So that's how that works. 
Um, I hope this video was helpful, at least to those um, who want to make a video like this or are just interested in programming a uh, marching system or even an ambush system because a lot of this can actually be done through programming. I just chose to use props and things like that for a lot of the um, technical stuff. Uh, just to make it not as complicated, but of course, if you'd like, you can program such thing. It's all there for you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.